starts now. Don't take it from me, take it from the state volleyball rankings. Three Lakes entered tonight ranked number two in Division Four, and Leona Wabino came in at number 10. So this match could have some huge ramifications. And to Three Lakes we go. Blue Jays enter the night just one match ahead of the Rebels in conference. And they came out looking to extend that lead in the first set. Rebels trying to catch Three Lakes off guard, but Mary Zeus sends it right back. Blue Jays up by four. But Leona Wabino would claw their way back. Couple of Rebels getting up for the block. And just like that, Leona takes the lead. And then looking to close out the set, Allison Albrecht going right down Broadway. Rebels takes that one 25 to 21. In the second set, the Blue Jays came out looking like a team on a mission. Zeus serving up some mustard for the kill. Must have been the spicy type. Blue Jays up three, and they kept the pressure coming. Sarah, Sarah Grzynski with the left-handed windmill, and Three Lakes takes set two, and they also take the match three sets to one. Another volleyball update for you. The Tomahawk Hatchets had a huge match against Wittenberg Burnhamwood. The Chargers came out strong, but the Hatchets came out stronger. Tomahawk takes this match in four sets. They win three to one. We also had some Thursday night football action. This game of the high school variety. Hayward traveling to Anigo. In the second quarter, the Hurricanes down six nothing. Isaac Hansen taking the handoff. He's got some blockers in front, turning on the Jets. And that's six, folks. Two-point conversion puts them up eight to six. But the Red Robins aren't migrating just yet. Off the play action, quarterback Zach Zupon getting drilled, but delivers a bomb to Alex Schlieve. The Robins were rolling. And just a few plays later, reverse, reverse, whoop, and slide to your right. Ben Beatty taking it 25 yards before the Hurricanes can take him down. And just a minute later, Anigo on third and goal. This one coming down to who wants it more. And Ben Beatty, give it to me. This game would end in heartbreak for the Red Robins, though, as Hayward hit a field goal as time expired. They win 30 to 28. And now from football to football, Rhinelander played host to Mosinee at Mike Webster Stadium. The Hodags came in chasing Mosinee in the conference standings, but the visitors hang tough. Taryn Holtz nets two goals on the night, and Mosinee wins 3-2. to two. They remain just behind Lakeland Union for that top spot in the Great Northern Conference.